Potevano essere previsto. Sì, allora mettiamo tutto schermo. E ora dobbiamo cercare di capire come far funzionare il resto. Yes. Aspetta, anche qua però dobbiamo... Cosa? Cambiare la risoluzione di questo. No. Facciamo original. Adesso sì, dobbiamo capire come, farvi sen come sentire noi e sentire... Perché non, non vale come cosa di sistema. Vabbè, ma noi li sentiamo e poi sul momento traduciamo quello che viene detto. Eh, lo so, però anche loro... loro vogliono sentire quello che viene detto e gli effetti e quelle robe lì. Ma tipo in modo di entrare nella beta o qualcosa del genere. In teoria sì, in teoria non potete sì. farlo. Eh no, lo possiamo fare nel momento in cui... Eh, non potete farlo ed è meglio che non lo fate. Che cosa? Perfetto. Sì, abbiamo abbassato, abbiamo scalato un attimo la risoluzione. Quindi in teoria... No, 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 noi stiamo... Dicendo... No, no, noi sentiamo... Con le... Certo, ovviamente non possiamo far sentire dall'altoparlante, altrimenti entra nel microfono. È basilare. Il problema eh, è che sì, noi, sì. noi, sentiamo... noi ce l'abbiamo le cuffie, è solo che l'audio o lo sentiamo nelle cuffie o, o... lo sentite voi no. tramite questa cosa. Quindi stiamo cercando di trovare una soluzione. Potremmo mettere la pagina web mm. invece che come pagina web qua dentro. Sì... Feedback, cerchiamo di capire se... Perché adesso noi non la sentiamo più chiaramente, no. perché è in stream only. Sentiamo il sistema, poi ricarica tutto, quindi è un casino. Facciamo così. Apriamo... Abbiamo tempo. Apriamo... Comunque, per ricerca sui nostri quattro eroi, Nate Price, Esports Community Manager alla Wizard, Gabby Spark, Writer e Broadcaster. Sponsorizzata da Channel 5, Jason Chan, Airstone Enthusiast and Children's Card Game Specialist e poi c'è Jimmy Wong. Diciamo Wong. che è facile <ride> che sia un gioco di carte. Esatto. Particolarmente facile. Anche perché non chiamerebbero quattro che giocano, cioè sono più specializzati da quel punto di vista per eh, presentare eventualmente un MOBA. Quindi... Allora, Twitch. Cosa facciamo fare adesso? Facciamo con una cosa del genere. Allora, da qua io aggiungo una nuova... Dov'è, dov'è, dov'è? Game capture, no, screen. Programma di capture che state usando l'audio del PC da input come se avessi registrato un videogioco. Non ho capito, per l'audio si potete spostare nel programma di capture. Del PC. Eh, infatti, perché allora come source il nostro. Per me ricordo che è possibile. Sì, sì, no, perché noi abbiamo. Il, praticamente il nostro pro programma può far sì praticamente che inserisci l'URL e lui tramite il suo browser interno va nella pagina. Soltanto che credevamo che fosse come una semplice pagina, come se l'avessimo aperta sul nostro computer. Invece, in questo modo, lui riesce a filtrare l'audio, però soltanto in una delle due direzioni, quindi o verso di voi o verso di noi. Adesso io provo ad aprire la pagina sul browser, su Chrome, sul computer, e provo a fare il capture classico di di Chrome, così in teoria dovremmo, dovreste sentire voi l'audio di sistema del computer e noi quindi sentire tramite le cuffie eh, il tutto. Adesso infatti vado, ah beh no, qua l'avevo già fatto, uh, stavo facendo aggiungi screen capture, però io voglio che prendi, eh non può, mm, perché è in, aspetta, esc. E torniamo piccoli aggiungi screen capture non posso dire una mm, mm, autodetect no device visa sì, no nel caso ovviamente sì noi lo sentiremo esatto e... al massimo per... però in 10 minuti 
poi, poi prova- si può provare a risolvere. Esatto. Allora, vediamo un attimo cosa sta succedendo. Ma a me pare strano che non puoi dire... Ah, ecco, ecco, ecco. Ah! Aspetta. Ti può dire qualcosa? Io... Mi ha 10 minuti, esatto. Questa cosa Clicco. è un po'... Ansiogena. Questo... Bello, è nero, perché è nero? Non so perché è nero. Perché se Sarà nero... gratuito, si dovrà pagare... Boh, boh. probabilmente è gratuito. Ah no, window magic... Eh, che cazzo, è giusto. <ride> perché non si... Ah, vedi che vedo il mouse. Ah, lo so, lo so io perché. Lo so io perché... Ah, no. Uh, forse così, no. Tac. Mm. Ah, sì, l'idea è che qualcosa. sia free to play perché comunque fino adesso... Eh, I prodotti sono sempre stati pensati come free to play. Se fosse una mezzo in mezzo, cioè non so come si chiamano i vari giochi online, ma da piccolo avevo un gioco di magic in cui eri un personaggio tipo arcane e si giocava le magie con il mana. Eh, in realtà mi ricordo solo la poiana at- a troppa. Cosa? <ride> Aiuto. Su tutto il gioco. E poteva essere Tactics, no, era allora Chandler dove giocava. Forse era la Chandler, uno dei primi che avevano eh, I fatto. giochi comunque, tra virgolette, quelli secondari sono sempre stati free to play, da quel mm-hmm. che ricordo. E penso che prendendone tanti da un'altra parte, eh, siano considerabili free to play anche questi. Tolgo. Già c'è MT... Eh sì, ma MTG Online non è... Ehm, nel senso... Eh, cer- dovrebbero cercare di migliorarlo. Perché comunque... Mh, non Faccio è... un po' di, di cosa, però se no, no non possiamo... Neanche questo va bene. Non è fruibile al 100% da tutti, eh, oltre a fatto vabbè, che sia a pagamento, ma è anche come è gestito e non è il modo migliore per invogliare qualcuno a entrare mm-hmm. in una community online cioè servirebbe una via di mezzo migliore rispetto a duels che porti anche ad invogliare magari ad entrare nei server di magic online no non me lo fa, non capisco perché mi vede tutto nero che due palle mi vede tutto nero Così non c'è niente, così Ale. è tutto nero. Cosa c'è? Che insomma, le farò il linguaggio. Il linguaggio. Oh, Vedi che me lo... no, me la re, resize lo fa giusto, ma eh, vede tutto nero. E non capisco perché. Anche perché questo dovrebbe vedere il programma in sé. Perché non mi fa fare quello che voglio. Screen window capture, window source, Google Chrome Magic Twitch Ed è no, sì No, 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 sto guardando se per caso c'è uno spoiler in formazione No, non immagini. credo Ma non... Loop, eh sì lo so mm, Non capisco perché, perché faccio questa roba qua Flip, effetti, niente Uh, client, se tolgo client area cosa mi cambia? niente perché è sempre nero e nero rimane allora vabbè tutte le wizard stanno pubblicando che c'è l'evento aspetta cos'è sta roba? niente no no non capisco perché mi faccio vedere nero quando in teoria Dovrebbe, dovrebbe farmi vedere tutta la finestra e non lo so quindi mi sa che ci tocca mimarvi le scene ci tocca rimettere tutto stiamo usando in... che programma stiamo usando xsplit broadcaster che però presto prend... OBS prenderà il suo posto Solo che non ho tempo per star lì a guardare uh, come funziona, forse questo weekend. 
torniamo full screen e dovremmo tornare a sentire noi magari dobbiamo... noi ora non si sente eh, stream perché sono in stream only system sound adesso devo ricaricare tutto full screen che palle ma questo non si può neanche saltare no ma soprattutto io ce l'ho a di blocker perché non me lo ha di blocca vabbè adesso c'è la musichina no più che altro non ho capito perché non può farlo sentire sia qua che a loro e questo il mistero della fede vabbè insomma non è che anche perché altre cose ce l'hanno che lo sentono tutti e due quindi boh niente ce l'ho nel ringraziare questi ultimi minuti di attesa pixel ah no nel ringraziare questi ultimi minuti di attesa vi comunico che siamo incazzati come delle iene per la questione del geocache perché qua nella nostra città sono tutti grandi un'unghia e quello che ci siamo nascosto eh, quello che, voleva, che avevamo nascosto noi è, ce l'hanno buttato via la mia impressione stanno mettendo un leggendario per tribù avete tutti i colori di quella tribù e un leggendario per tribù avete uno solo dei colori della sua tribù e... allora il allora... vampiro per la doppia sì. però la leggendaria di un monocolore non l'hanno sì, quello, quello mono bianco che fa gli altri vampiri okay. quando attacca perché se ci dobbiamo aspettare anche un dinosauro leggendario verde ma ciao Reborn ciao Reborn Re Spoilers ma forse non verde cioè potrebbero eh, farlo un altro anche leggendario rosso. beh no in realtà di, di leggendari dei dinosauri ah no no è vero è uscito solo di Shot che non sia un'impostazione della riproduzione del sonoro prende il mix e il volume della no no è proprio una cosa sua del programma perché non è che vi stiamo facendo vedere la nostra schermata cioè la, la, il nostro browser vero e proprio è, la, è il loro è, come si dice è una cosa interna del programma che praticamente naviga ad una, ad una pagina web aspetta che provo fare un attimo un refresh e quando avevamo fatto praticamente vedere cos'era il trailer di Amonkhet il trailer di Amonkhet era andato tutto secondo i piani sì solo che non mi ricordo aveva fatto la stessa cosa già sta un leggendario rosso la pirata e uno bianco il vampiro andando per esclusione il dinosauro è verde e però è nero blu ci farebbe un tritone ma mono nero eh fanno un pirata eh sì, bisogna vedere cosa hanno intenzione di fare. Che c'è anche questo. Mi fa da fastidio che... Sì, ma se ti dà fastidio per tutta sera, poi tu dai fastidio a me. Eh vabbè, mi dispiace. Dai, c'è il countdown. E 10, no, ok. Un minuto. Ora gli si blocca lo streaming. Eh sì, muoio. Infatti, voi quanto sono tutti i colori? 4 mono, quindi il nero stavolta rimane bocca asciutta. No, è impossibile che non facciano, facciano una mitica non per un colore. Mm. Cioè, sì. è assolutamente. Beh, no, dipende. No, la mitica c'è già. La leggendaria dice. Ah, la leggendaria. Oh, sì. Godiamoci sta cosa. Questa musica molto... Yeah. Ok. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Se parte davvero mi... Aspetta che mi ri... ci rimpiccioliamo. No, cazzo. Oddio, c'è un documentario tipo vecchissimo. Ho 
Ok, allora, 1996 quando... il primo Pro Tour dovrebbe essere questo. I, I, mon i mondiali. mondiali. Pro Tour. Settando lo standard Quindi. di cosa dovrebbe essere un gioco di carte collezionabili. I vari concept, I trailer. trailer. Oh, Oddio! Sommo! È un po' come guardare tessitori dal vivo. Ok. Le, le carte vecchie, Romaro. Oh. Grandissimo. Il ragno gigante. Le e la passaggio di storia. Esatto. Sta rimmaginando la Magic the Gathering Digital. Oh mio Dio! Ecco. Ok. Sì, non c'è l'audio. Purtroppo. E se noi lo adesso lo mettiamo a loro, esatto. vi mettiamo l'audio. Però verrà sicuramente... Adesso ricarica. Adesso tanto c'è Jimmy Wong che parla. E sì, Postiamo. E noi lo guardiamo. E noi lo guardiamo dal nostro streaming. Secondo. Ora dovreste sentire. Noi riattacchiamo le cuffie qua, 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 qua. Si sente? No. Perché ovviamente qua l'avevi messo muto. Hai ragione. Non si sente comunque. Aspettate. Aumento l'audio. La, Io l'audio l'ho aumentato. Forse questo. For those of you guys watching at home, here's a look at what we've got lined up for you uh, for the rest of the stream. Sì, sì. Perfetto. We want to start to involve our community in this process from the beginning. It's part of the reason we're coming to you live right now. Uh, and to that end, we have two incredible streamers here to introduce to you in a second. They're both ready to pilot a pair of decks featuring a few Ixalan cards that uh, no one has previewed yet. So this is your first chance to see them. Uh, and once the dust settles, we'll give those to you. Uh, those of you guys who have the opportunity to ask us any questions that you want. So start Definitely. thinking about what you want to ask us now. Certainly. Now, uh, we'll also let you know how you know we're signing for a beta. And a little hint: it is that playmtgarena.com URL we've got on the screen. Pretty simple, but for now, let's just see how much we have brought here today. First up, we have special guest all the way from Hong Kong, currently in Vancouver. It is Amaz. Now, Amaz is one of the biggest Twitch streamers in the world, and he's proven himself to be quite the capable Magic player as well. I don't know if many people know this, but he actually notched his day two of his first Pro Tour in Kyoto a month mm. ago. Day two in Pro Tour is yeah, pro right. that is, uh, that's absurd <laughs> to me. Amaz, how are you doing? Hey, Jimmy, how's it going? And I'm happy to be here and excited to play some MTG Arena. And we are very happy and honored to have you here as well. We've lined up uh, one great opponent for him today. Uh, his opponent for this world premiere of MTG Arena is one of the most recognizable personalities in Magic, and that's Gabby Spartans. Uh, she's one of Magic's top streamers, but Gabby also lends her expertise to the Grand Prix and Pro Tour coverage team. She steps to the other side of the camera. How's it going, Gabby? I'm doing great, Nate. I'm super excited to be here. Awesome. Yeah. No, no. And I know that Chris here is very excited to see what people have to say once they get to see the game in action. So Definitely. let's talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Chris, tell us about Magic the Gathering Arena. Arena. What was your vision for the game? Magic the Gathering Arena's team's vision. They want to bring authentic magic to life on all the cards. But they have it as much fun to watch as it is to do. Not to just have it as a card game, but to be as much fun to watch as it is to do. And 
where you can experience so much more of this magic universe. Right, and right now what we're going to be seeing is a very early development build of the game, is that right? Right, this is sort of a pre-alpha build where we've put all of our ideas together, made a great game to play, and now what we really want to do is get it in front of the fans, right? Get people to sign up for the closed beta. That way we can take it from good to great, right? That feedback is really our most valuable resource. And you mentioned authentic magic. What did yeah. you mean when you said that? Well, this is magic in all of the details, in all of the depth. Underneath all of the beautiful visuals you're gonna see is a games rules engine that literally goes through all of the rules of magic. It is complete 100% all of the cards and how they are meant to work. So that's there, but we've also used the computer to help you play more smoothly, play more quickly, right. and really use the visuals to excite and take those top deck moments you have in tabletop and blow them out so people can see them when you stream. That's exciting, and I'm ah, glad okay. that you mentioned well, that we're using stuff. the player experiences and our feedback as well, so yes. that's obviously gonna be an important part of the creation process. That's probably the okay. most important part because we can make our best guesses. We, we say we're the players who change the game because as devs, we love this game, right? right. We want everybody to play it but we're not gonna have all the answers. We're not gonna be the best people to judge. Is it authentic? Is it hitting the notes? Oh, Is it so what those folks the want? So that's why we need the help. Right, well, I think we've kept everyone waiting for yes. long enough. Yes. <laughs> you must feel that especially. Well, I want people to see this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to show everyone what your team has been working on. Gabby, Amaz, are you ready for this? Uh, ready. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, no before we get into the game, I would love to per, per vedere la chat. Today. So, Amaz, why don't you give us a rundown tutto of the deck? Al fisso, All right, so I'll be playing Red Green Dinosaurs. And to magic players out there, you know that Red Green is a very grueling Mika. deck to play against. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> oh so, dinosaurs are known to have a very efficient um, bodies. So, um, you're going to expect to see very high power and toughness creatures on my side. And since I'm playing a tribal deck, uh, the cards get better if I control a dinosaur on the battlefield. And yeah. finally, there's a new mechanic in Excel line called Enrage, and it triggers a bonus effect whenever my creature takes damage. And this even works when it takes lethal damage. So I'm excited to see that in action. Excellent. And Gabby, it, you're going to be piloting yeah. some pirates. Indeed. Or I guess shipping them in this case. Yeah, I will be playing with uh, Blue Black Yar, I guess. Um, so it's a pirates themed deck. It's also a synergistic deck, and much like a mod, it's kind of a tribal deck. So Pirates get a benefit from doing things that pirates want to do, so that is raiding. Ah, um, that's going to be the main mechanic in my deck. When pirates attack, they get an extra benefit. And that will let you either draw an extra card or loot, and any other kinds of benefits. And pirates get better in numbers too, so they're a little smaller than the dinos. That's what they're better in numbers too, so they're a little smaller than the dinos. That's what they're better in numbers too, so they're a little smaller than the dinos. That's what they're better in numbers too, so they're a little smaller than the dinos. That's what they're better in numbers too, so they're a little smaller than the dinos. That's what they're better in numbers too, so they're a little smaller than the dinos. That's what Awesome. Well, I can't wait to see this matchup. I Subito. think we've waited long enough. Let's take our very first look allora, at Magic the Gathering Arena. Players, let's begin the game. Arena. Hey, well, I, the first thing I've noticed, Chris, we are Ora. actually on the plane right now, right? Yeah, yeah. we are actually in the Sun Empire Dragon Hatchery. So, ecco great place for a Dragon vs. Pirates battle. <laughs> Dragon Hatchery sounds like home team advantage. <laughs> <laughs> it does, actually. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm going to kick things off here with a Siren Storm Storm. Oh, oh, so as you can see, there are a lot of dynamic animations already at play here. Right. We'll Plus see what sound effects, too. That Siren mm -hmm. uh, Storm <laughs> color hit the table and put a nice little see, bit of speech there. Yeah, yeah and, and all of those are meant to really tell awesome. you play up the emotion of what's going on, not get in the way, right? They're mm -hmm. fast, they're snappy. And there are cards that are very small. There are brand new Ixalan cards we haven't seen before. Oh, in the graveyard, I can't blow it up no more. I can't blow it up anymore. There it is. There it is, all right. It allows you to look at the top five cards of your library. You can reveal a dinosaur or land card from among them, put it into your hand, and put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Anybody who played during Theros, the name probably sounds a little familiar because this is kind of similar to what the Commune with the Gods card did. Right, right, right. right. And Amaz revealed a Vertin Sun's avatar. Yeah, it's a very good card. That's a very yeah. good card. <laughs> <laughs> we may not be seeing it played anytime soon, but it's definitely something to look out for, huh, Gabby? So, I'm just going to get into the third. All right. Follow up with a Fathom Captain. First, tied on the board. Very nice. And I'm going to skip you. So it looks like there's an extra animation on the art here as well. Chris, right. you walk us through what's going on with that. Well, that's just summoning sickness there. If you're a magic player, you're pretty familiar with it. But that's why we're trying to visualize a lot of the words. The words, otherwise, words on the screen. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
not yeah, kidding. Yeah, I'm getting peeked out right now. <laughs> you can get in there. If you're watching as well, you'll notice that we've now switched to a Maz's perspective of the game. So we can see his hand. And Gabby's gonna get in with her captain and pay two mana and just make a 2-2 two -two token. And as you can tell also, that token has a different uh, right. card frame around it. We want to keep everything self-evident and clear, so you can read it, and so anybody watching can this uh, oh, grazing whip tail oh, is going to be in a magic card. It's another one of those brand new Ixalan cards. Uh, fairly simple, 3 4 with reach for 4. And uh, I have yeah. memories of spinning Gorna back in the day being uh, kind of a house in a cluster pipe, man. So. That's going to make it tricky for the pirates. Oh, yeah. 3 4 reach is enormous, so this siren's staying back, but at least I can keep getting in here. And I can still make a pirate. And I can chart a course. Yeah, Menace here is actually really wow. good, seeing that Gabby was on the play, and she just drew some more cards, and it looks, because uh, you weren't able to cast the four, you did cast the four drop on turn three, but unable to get hold of two blockers. Yeah, and Chart of Course is uh, another one of those new cards also, it's a sorcery for two mana that lets you draw two cards, and then if you, you have to discard a card unless you attack to the creature already this turn, so... For an aggressive deck like this Pirates deck, it's a nice pawn theme way to get a little bit of credit. Oh god, this is so bad for me. Right. Raging Swords and Raging your captain. Swords too. <laughs> bye bye. Wow. Goodbye, Pirates. <laughs> they had a family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is really interesting to see too, obviously a walk through the animation of what happened by doing one damage to the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, I mean, we want it to be a big moment because it is. Right. Oh my gosh, these are my pirates there, getting annihilated by the big time. Yeah, right. There's something that I didn't notice earlier, I think it's important to point out to people. Um, we were, we're talking about the fact that the cards in play have got a little bit of those extra cues to kind of right, help right. you figure out people what's going on. Right. Uh, you can notice that the cards in Amaz's hand uh, that aren't lands have casting costs yep. above them in the upper right yep. hand corner, but those are missing when you get to the battlefield. And then there's also the <laughs> couple of little icons on the lower bar right. that signify what the abilities of the card have. Right. Those are the contextual the cards that you can play. And really, what they are is a summary of the most important information. Because right, the stats, the keyword icons, the and then really big pictures so that you really feel like you're seeing those creatures play. Altro. Right, so you're focusing on the art of the card, and should the player need to know the text, just highlight over it, right click, and, and right. take you a Right, you can just scan across it and watch for what you need to know. Ooh, Gabby, I'm uh, sorry. Oh god, that can't oh, yeah. possibly be good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is okay, I have these menace creatures. <laughs> so Gabby went ahead and oh, used a card to exile a card out of Amaz's hand, but like the master player Amaz is, he just top decked the exact same card. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh that 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 so fun to back too. Wow, rest in peace. Wow. 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 Yeah. We're not smuggling yeah, anything I'm just gonna today. Do it now too. The momentum certainly Let's get rid of your here. menace pirates. Jeez, no. I've always loved that uh, when cards fight in this game, they literally mm -hmm. act really mm -hmm. right. into each other. Well, it's yeah. actually really important so for magic, right? Damage, right? damage is reciprocal. You're going to take it when you give it. So we want to show that for the action. It's done much better. It's much more similar to magic online. You see what people attack, too. Because, like, creatures go straight at the face. They go right at what, yep. where the person would be sitting. If they were it's your hand of cards there, just like you were actually playing on the table. This is so brutal. All right, so we're going to hostage take her. Ooh, okay. Why don't I take this? This is mine now. Let's take taker. a look at this card real quick. Oh no. Yeah, okay. so I can exit another target. Adesso, target, target poi magari adesso qua creature. la gestione and della pila like non è fatta proprio bene. Like e anche la collezione delle carte, like, bisognerà vedere like, come la gestisco. Oh, no? you can cast that. Yeah, I can also cast that. Wow, it's certainly a hostage taker. Qui magari potrei creare il massimo. I'm going to try to stop him from casting that. Oh wow, oh, nice. Nice, nice tempo play there, setting him mm. back, and also unable to uh, now attack. My magic, uh, no well, I can attack to this, I, I never want to block the raptor hatchling, because it makes a green green dino la, 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 la. So you can see the mom in the back. That's <laughs> la, la, la. That has some invest in my turn. Yeah, it yeah, really did. Amaz drew his sixth land and would have been able to play that Burn and Sun's avatar that he revealed earlier, but now is just going to have to take a little bit of a tempo swing here. Yeah, I still cannot right, attack I'll, into I'll the Dover, defense. Though. He does have a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1 one, one fit. Gabby doesn't want to turn into another yeah, three three. Sure. <laughs> no, it's my dinosaur. <laughs> it's my dino net, yeah. 
I, I just love the idea of this pirate stolen, <laughs> stolen dinosaur. It's like, hey, I guess you can join the crew down the dinosaur. Like, yeah, it sounds good to me. <laughs> it's a pet dinosaur. They have a new mascot. No pirate. They, they don't use parrots on. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that dinosaur is gonna have its own parrot. Yeah, he's a pirate <laughs> so bad. <laughs> In centro stilero, sto in puro, mm, con le roe, perché altrimenti sì. Another cool thing here is Amaz mm. is actually not... That sounded so bad for me. <laughs> yeah, no, it, no. It, it, it looks bad from our end, too. <laughs> no. mm. Sorry about that. You can feel it all the way from Vancouver. Amaz <laughs> and Gabby are playing uh, in different locations right now, so this game obviously is online, right, yes. Chris? Yes, and that's what we're set up for, right? We want you to be able to play with anyone across the world. You want to play a game of Magic? It's there for you. Alright, let's start five. Gabby, yeah. is, is this Back up to life? 11? Is this giant 5-5, five five, the yeah. game 5 life making you want to play magic? <laughs> <laughs> At least I do get to kill it. My effects are just so oh, bad. Oh, oh wow. Oh, nice. that, awesome. <laughs> that did not stick around for a long time. No, the, uh, the walk the plank animation oh, it actually been scaled worse. with the card that blew up too. That was hilarious. That's really cool. Okay, so we can get in this. this, this, this. Ooh, Gabby played a really interesting card here too. It's actually it's a one oh mana one oh, yeah, two, take a look. and it has death Is touch on it uh, for an activated cost of just one black mana. So it's a great Standard blocker against the deck like a monster. Standard indispensable, magari ancora oh. forzante perché comunque. Great sure. Not a pirate. You still get a three three though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mama's back. Sure. Ooh, Raptor hatchling. Here comes Mama. Yeah, it's angry. That's me in the picture. You see. <laughs> Wait, let's take a look. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, your little feet sees are sticking out. Yeah. Well, oof. Sorry, Gabby, we're, we're definitely burying the lead for you here, but every time I see some stuff happening in Amaz's hand, it's hard not to. All right, let's start with this. Oh, God. You guys That's like this? Good. Whoa, that oh, was wow. awesome. Wow, so that is yeah. the first uh, animation we've seen like that. Huh? Right. Yes. When we say bring the cars to life, what we're really trying to do is make sure you know when 7-6 uh, Trample Hex Brute shows up. <laughs> 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 hmm, I could attack you right now, but I'm just going to hold back for a bit. Yeah. The butts are here. <laughs> mm. right this seven, could six. be awesome, but it's not awesome. D stands for both defense and dinosaur. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I guess. I mean, I don't really know what's in your hand anymore, so killing this seems good enough. Uh oh. Ooh, another oh. walk the plank. Oh man. Turns out dinosaurs right. cannot swim, Amaz. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't. Poor dinos. All right. A bit of a bummer for you, though, Gabby. You could not target the hexproof. Yeah, side. man. I wish I could kill that. You can even see the hexproof animation on it. Mm, no, it's not yours. Magical circle. <laughs> a circle of protection. Right. Holding the line for now. That's good. Sta durando un po' tanto la cosa. You'll notice there was no reaction from our side. Right, nothing happened here. Oh god, no. You guys just get you guys are just getting better. This is the Registrar Alpha with a nice mighty groan. Uh, this card was actually previewed very recently. It gives other dinosaurs haste as well as just creates a 3-3. So, definitely some beefiness happening over there. This is a tight yeah. There's a lot of beef on the other yeah. side of the battlefield. Yeah. That skittering heart stopper is doing a great job though holding it back, Gabby. Yeah. Anche perché le abilità vedi che vedete che si innescano e si vede l'immagine sul lato. Secondo me. La come come vogliono implementarla sarà molto simile a Magic Online. All right. Really looking uh -oh. forward to it. Busy combat step as the board gets busier and busier. <laughs> yeah. You can see the battle coming, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <coughs> yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Guess I'm uh, playing this card. Uh, wow. Sure. Here we go. Wow. Real heretics will feel the bite of my blades. Wow, so this is the first appearance ah, of a Planeswalker, and it comes complete. with a like voice line as well. That's right. Planeswalkers are the stars of Magic the Gathering, so we really wanted to play them up. They have voice lines for coming in, for the various activities they do when they die. They're the stars. As well as using their abilities, right? Yeah, exactly. And are there multiple uh, options as to what they might say when they come in? Definitely. We want them to feel like they're the personalities they are, right? Right. She was just summoned to help out, right? Mm -hmm. So there she is. Yeah, and I love that you can see the full art of this as yeah. well. Ooh, the flood. Oh, sad. I'm going in. I'm <laughs> oh, going in for the win. I'm extremely dead, but I can't send a message. 
<laughs> yeah, so right. we just our alpha. Oh, there very you go. nice. There yeah, you go. that's still not enough. Red <laughs> I'm gonna send my whole team under the buzz here. Jeez, a double striking 7 6 trampler does not seem like good news. Oh, for I'm, you. I'm extremely dead. <laughs> Oh, this All is right. interesting. I've not seen Probably ordering a blocker before. Count. This is a nice way to visually overlay it, though. This is right. pretty, pretty intuitive. Like yeah. Left to right. So the death touch deal. creature first. Curry, you know, curry, you know. I'll give it death touch. He's immune to that. First strike damage. And then normal damage. Yeah. And, uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That was a whammy. Oh, That's a lot. It's a TM good turn. <laughs> Hopefully I cut <laughs> last, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's not going to help you. Go, oh, the perfect top to this one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a long way. Sorry, Team Pirate. Finish you off. Oh, oh, Sam is coming in with double blades. Rip. Wow, oh, character is so good. It has trample now. too. Awesome. <laughs> well, that was our very yeah. first look at our first match ever of Magic awesome. Gathering Arena. So well played. Yeah, very good well game. played. Wow, that was a real back and forth. <laughs> oh, man. As, I think uh, this is opportunity to see all of the, uh, the animations yeah. and to see all of the sound effects. I mean, looking, as you said earlier, to try to build something that is authentic magic but is like fun to play and to watch right. also. Well, and you know, as much as fun as the visuals are, if those rules weren't there, right, the depth's not there. So yeah. we really have focused to make sure that that's there no matter what, and we'll be getting into showing you how you can actually get in control of that. Yeah, what I really liked, too, is how fast the game went and how dynamic right. it felt. Um, you know, I played a lot of Magic, and a lot of times there's a lot of this happening and figuring out what mana to tap, but it looks like right. the game actually makes those decisions for you unless you decide to take control. Well, there's a huge range of yeah, play in Magic, right? You're on your kitchen it, tabletop, you're at the Friday Night Magic, or maybe you're a touring pro, and each of those has different play styles, different pace, right? You want to be able to represent all of that, and we want to start players off with the fun that you have at tabletop, where it just flows and you're going, but we want to also give you access to control so you can really keep specific strategies in mind the sort of higher up you go. Right, and it's an inherently much more watchable format like this right. with the, the, the emphasis on the visual aspects of the card. Right, as well. I think a lot of us for the last 25 years that's been magic, we've had a lot of fun watching it. Now it's even more fun. Yeah, totally. And I mean, I'm gonna continue to try to make things as exciting for people as home as we can. I mean, <laughs> right, yeah. that's not a bad thing, right? <laughs> and uh, this is gonna be an exciting year for us, and we are okay. really so looking okay. forward to I'm sharing our work with you along the way. So make sure that you're following us on Twitter at MTG and underscore Arena, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash And I uh, believe we are ready to get back to the next game. So uh, Gabby and Maz, you ready to kick this off? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, very lucky Gabby this time. Yeah, I do. yeah. Pi Team Pyre needs some help here. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we are starting off on the Maza side of the table. Ooh, Gabby with a turn one play. A nice one. Ooh, looks like the Maza's got a pretty nice hand. I'd be really interested to see what Gabby's got her hand on. Ah, there we go. All right. Oh, this looks like a nice little aggressive start. Not quite as aggressive as the last one was for her, but... Uh, yeah. And I don't know if we've seen these lands yet either uh, for Ixalan, but Drowned Catacomb and Rootbound Crag are uh, coming back at it as, as very efficient uh, two mana lands. Yeah, I get to play Aerialist here, and I even get to raid it. Char Ooh, har wave har the flag! <laughs> Jeez, the flag, yo-ho, yo-ho! Two mana, two, three flyer. Mm, That's pretty good. Yeah, that is very good. Ready to raid your ships, or uh, I'll forest, play this I guess. adorable <laughs> hashling. Mm. That hatchling is bad news there, don't Yeah, one mana, one, uh, two mana, one one that turns into a 3-3, three, three. there's nothing to scoff at. Yeah. yeah, I have no interest in that, so I'm just gonna <laughs> go in the skies, and then I get to chart a course, and here another raid mechanic, is, well not raid exactly, but if I attack with a card, right, I get to keep raid. my other card, yeah. Yeah, it's kinda like raid. Oh man. All right. I'd love to draw a little attention to Amaz's avatar, which is very <laughs> dynamic. It's also that big dinosaur. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have dino decks and pirate decks. We gotta have avatars to match, right? Absolutely. So Amaz, if you lose this game, does a giant dinosaur come to your aid as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hi. I just think the um, the avatar corresponds to the player. Speriamo di ottenere la I have I am an evil right. cross and bones, I like it. <laughs> Intimidating oh. the, the opposition. Exactly. Ooh, oh, 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 oh,
Let's take a look at this guy. This is a car. The girl writes a bit about killing his man in the last. Yeah. When it's about kids, I can take the cards off my library and I can reveal the future for you to put in my hand. And then if uh, it's an enchantment, right? Yeah. So if I have four total creatures on my battlefield, I can actually transform <coughs> it into a legendary land, which is going to be Itlamok, uh, which I can't really see right now. It transforms into Itlamok, creator of sun, Infatti, uh, and it adds uh, green, uh, it taps for green, or it can tap for a green for each creature I control. So it's kind of like a Gaius creator. So yeah, but actually a little bit better on the other side, because it can tap <laughs> without <laughs> creatures. But considering you need four to flip it, that thing is coming around and doing a lot of mana generation. Yeah, yeah. they can't possibly be afraid. Grazing Whip Hill, always Grazing Whip Hill. That's really good. Three, four reasons for matchup one. Three, four reasons for matchup one. Yeah. It really does not. Looks like Gabby's in a bit of a situation here with all the information that's been revealed. Yeah, I think what I'm just going to play my Felflag Ship, so this comes from my Pirate Hall. That's another one of those new Pixelon cards we haven't seen yet. Yeah, pop that up for a sec. Wow. Thanks. It's the first instance of a vehicle we're seeing as well in this match, which is an artifact that turns into a creature when you crew it, and of course, it's not. Uh, it's very fitting. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's extremely thematic. Yeah. So Pirates, you control get plus one, plus O, oh, and whenever you deal combat with the player, the player discards a card. When you look at the first four cards of the Grimorio, e riveli una creatura tra quelle la metti in mano poi nella tua sottofase finale se controlli quattro più creature la giri e quando la giri diventa una terra che o ti attinge verde o ti attinge un verde per ogni creatura che controlli quindi proprio quella di Gea Now, are there unique sound effects for all of the dinosaurs? Because they've all made some they're, different sounds. On yeah, the they all have, we all have different sound effects there, but it's mainly in themes. We want right. subtypes important to the game, so we want subtype similarities oh. in there. See, quattro, quattro. Oh, well, hello. Oh, well, that's a pretty one. <laughs> Jimmy, you should get a sound. Out of it. <laughs> Don't worry, Maz, it's nothing there. Yeah, I drew a land. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I drew a land, I swear. All right, here we go. Oh, here that's is pretty good. Jace. Oh, guarda, that's the key. Oh, Chamon 3. Chamon 3. Dang, what a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Eh, hey, gioca. Ma anche lui, abbiamo scoperto yeah, anche noi che... Yeah, Dinosaur's smart too, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So Gabby's got some choices here. Jace has two relevant abilities. He can make a 2-2 blue illusion creature token that can sacrifice to become a target of the spell or an ability. Or sorry, just a spell in this case. Or she can also plus one Jace to give one of her creatures a looting effect if it does combat damage to a player. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead with that plus one. So let's combat. Uh, I think I'm going to get in with this. All right. So the death toucher that you want to get in with here. Uh, pre mm -hmm. Presents an interesting block for Maz, and is he gonna take it? Yep, it looks like the block is made. And here comes the 3 3. It's kind of cool. Uh, Angry 3 3 is back. Yeah, they're always back. They're always lurking not too far. <laughs> for sure. Well, this does pair up well with your hand, because Gabby saved his cast. Yeah, another. I really wanted to enable raid on this too. Starfleet so Aerialist. Got another Aerialist up my sleeve. That 3 4 okay. with the little tentacle icon in right. the bottom left hand corner. Is, uh, <laughs> yeah. Playing By defense. the way, grab. Yeah. yeah, let's talk about those icons for a yeah. second. Uh, what do they signify on each of the cards here? Well, a lot of the ones you're seeing here are evergreen keywords. They are capabilities that the cards have that we want you to stay aware of, especially during combat. Mm -hmm. So the contextual cards a lot of times will change state depending on the decisions you're making. In this case, We Vabbè, sì, ci saranno delle microtransazioni, ci compriamo le bustine eventualmente, come anche Airstone. Anche Airstone, così. Poor Jace. Uh oh. Yep, Jace has to go. <laughs> Jace does have to go. A he wasn't here that long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He's flexing so hard too. Do you really <laughs> want to do this? <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and block with my fell flagship. You are going down, my friend. So Gabby has crewed her uh, her artifact vehicle she ship, can't. and she's going to double hmm. block the Grazing Whiptail. This is uh, interesting. I'm going to get rid of the. So Maz is ordering his blockers now. And he's he's like, he's put the flyer first. Smartly so. Let's go this. Chase's brushes are so 
Sono una carta, i dinosauri che ti lanciano questo mezzo di meno E non l'ho visto C'è un dinosauro a rapinità, toppando Minchia male eh no, non ho visto la questione. Quindi Maz all the way over in Vancouver while we're in Seattle. Che ci siamo in Are you are you are you amused slash impressed by Jace the Stunning? Adesso vediamo perché c'è ancora la il veicolo. It's definitely some new skills. Jace the pirate, right? Yeah, Jace the pirate. This is a pirate now. I do like the fact that he's got enough commitment to the patterns that are on his cloak that uh, he just like has little paint tattoos on his or <laughs> it's either that or he just like has had them and he's got enough sun that Those, it's, yeah. it's, it's, <laughs> Those are his uh, personal ley lines yeah. on the body. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so you got Getting to draw in there, and yeah, discard Yeah, I got to do there. some cool stuff here. I got cool. to loot with Jace and I'm going to get to draw with Rune Raider too. You see Pirate Flag, bam! Oh. <laughs> wow, and the Ruin Raider has a raid trigger that allowed you to get another car. That's pretty impressive. And so it was a land. Oh, you can even see, look, you can see the back of the Ruin Raider. You can see it. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Si, si, come tutti i giochini. Dinosaur nest. Dinosaur nest. Sweet card here. Oh my goodness. That's definitely a dinosaur. That is sweet. Wow, so here's the ability of Burning Sun's avatar, able to target a planeswalker or an opponent and a creature with three damage each. Hmm. Kind of the perfect draw. Maz, you are a king. I am doing it, but which one should e I remove right now? I think it's a good thing to go. Oh, it's a good thing to go. It's a good thing to go. Non con le limitazioni di Google, perché qua vedo già le terre rare, vedo, ho visto più copie delle rare. È un po' il suo colpo, dice che non dovrebbe venire qui senza supporto, lo sapeva meglio. Sì, lo sapeva. Sì, lo sapeva sempre meglio. Sì, lo sapeva. So you're getting a little oh. bit of a discount from the Odefec Huntmaster as well as electrifying your Burning Sun's avatar and giving it haste here. That's a fun little That's effect. Right. That's right, you gotta know if the haste cool. is showing up. Adesso gli sto dicendo gli attaccanti. Yikes. Hmm, I'm at 19. 19 is pretty comfortable for now. Well, not against the 6 6. I guess I'll be crewing this. Si, ha cliccato la Fessida quando ho voluto lui. Sembra. 3 3 with her 3 3, so that'll be a trade there. But Burning Sun's avatar smacks in for 6 damage. And Gabby once at 19, now actually very close to Amaz's life total at 13 to 10. Oh, my life total is getting low, but I do get to do something really cool here. Cioè, non ha dovuto obbligarsi. Wait, wait, targeting. Ah, overflowing insight. Oh man, I would love to draw 7 cards. Woo! Woo! Look at that. I guess I need to sit tight for now. Yeah, you're facing potentially a lot of damage here on the crackback. Yeah, sadly I have to discard a card. That's how many cards I drew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough life. Okay. You know, drawing seven cards is sweet, but not when you're facing down hasty dinosaurs. Agreed. <laughs> Whip tail always. Yeah. I think we're going to go to a kind of Magic 2 or Magic Online, more beautiful, and maybe initially a bit limited. Now we're going in with everything. Ooh, this is exact scenes right now. Oi. All right, team. Ooh. This is sad. This is. Not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to let a moth draw an extra card. Go down a ten, I guess. Or take ten, rather. Yeah. Sure. Let's ten damage. Wow. I ten is yeah. quite a bit. It's, it's an interesting balance here, though, right, Gabby? It's oh, either it's ten bad. damage or it is nine damage, and you're letting a moth draw an extra card with the enrage trigger. Yeah, enrage is kind of spooky, so I'm just gonna. Ouch. Okay. And lucky for me, I have my fourth. Sure. Oh my goodness. 
The growing rights of Itlamok has transformed, and we have Itlamok Cradle of the Sun. So Amaz is able to generate an absurd amount of mana next turn with two Odepec Huntmasters and that Cradle of the Sun. Pretty impressive. All right. But I'm out of cards. <laughs> Again, he's got a lot of resources now. Do, I get to untap with so many cards, so I have a lot of interesting things I can do here. Hmm. Quindi c'è almeno probabilmente sarà di tipo. Yeah, looks like I can. Come card. Long keep. Yeah, I could walk the flank. Ma la fisa vale non c'è. Eh, mi sa che c'è perché ho visto la clessidra prima del pescato. The ocean, the burning sun's avatar yep. goes. Turns out water is good against fire. No, it's the steaming sun. That is avatar. true. <laughs> steaming. <laughs> And if I play a siren. He's done a pretty reasonable job of taking control. Oh, yeah, oh, that's uh, yeah. what, uh, a sweet oh. one. So, would you want to walk us through what just happened on Quindi the bottom right part of the screen? Sure, that's full control. Ah, mode. okay. So, but the player's action is that I want to go through when you pass priority. Pass automatically the priority when you don't have anything to do or something like that. Exactly what you want to, when you want to. Right. Now, this mode can be toggled on for an entire game or just toggled on as needed. We see it kind of as bullet time for the game, right? Mm -hmm. Normally the flow is going, but right now you got to make a key decision. I think Gabby's up for that. Yeah, exactly. So I toggled on full control. Però se va in full control right. mode. So beginning of combat here, Gabby's going to be calling ad ogni, in the Dream Caller Siren. Ad ogni flying creature cosa, praticamente ti chiede che cosa vuoi fare, come se fosse Magic Online. 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 Right. Oh, and it makes quite the crime the Esatto, okay. per magari le prime fasi di gioco e poi puoi yeah. attivare la full control quando devi gestire le cose un po' più complicate. Sorry, Amaz, your attacks are nullified. Yeah, for now. It's very thematic that we just got to watch someone enter full control mode and then take control of the game. Yeah, at least, yeah. or at least for, at least a for turn. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still got you're writing some checks there. Right. Yeah, he's definitely still. I'm gonna in a have a big position. turn here. Oh really? Take a look at this. Oh man. Okay. Wow. Ooh, Admiral All Becca right, Brass. So Admiral Becca Brass is gonna be able to steal something at the end of a Maz's turn. What happens? So you have to, uh... Oh wow! So so Gabby needs to satisfy a requirement here, which is to deal combat damage yeah. to a player with a uh, with a pirate. Because they'll come in and three or more pirates. pirates yeah. Hmm. You got one blocker on the ground to stop her. Unfortunately for Amaz, that may not be. Long yeah, that's for not going to be. The uh oh. <laughs> issue. <laughs> It's going to get removed. Yeah. yeah. Gabby choosing her best option out of her. Who knows? Maybe many options, Amaz. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, okay, that's a good option, though. <laughs> so I'm gonna go that take will be gone. that only blocker. Yep. Okay. And now I get to bash with this, this, and this. Wow. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very good. And at the end of her turn, it looks as though we have two triggers, and the Ruin Raider is going to be able to draw Gabby some cards here, and Admiral Becca Brass is going to just steal something as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that this will be perfect for the Oh, no, Field and cool. unsummon. Wow. Mm, wow. Very nice. <laughs> With one mana left. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> you know, that's actually quite crazy because had you revealed a 3 CMC card, Gabby, it would be lights out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Playing <laughs> a risky uh, like a pirate. Yeah, right? Ruin Raider, so some here. Ruin Raider somehow <laughs> a liability <laughs> there almost. <laughs> yeah. Okay, got something all right. All right, Carnage Tyrant, okay. Time to play that. Hmm. Mm. Seems like you might want to have a response no, to that. No, she didn't. Indeed, I do. <laughs> no haste for you. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> uh. It's like all that roaring was for nothing. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna. Carnage turns a big show you. off. Sending a message regardless. Gabby's gonna line up some blocks here. Got yep. stuff. It looks like the right stuff to do. Gabby having an absurd amount of flying power in the air. Looks like oh things man. aren't very good for Amaz. Figo, 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 figo. Does this card help? <laughs> you do have a lot of. Oh, I guess Does you know, you already packed the. Like uh, it. Look. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> 
Ooh, I wish I could use this, but I just get to slay now. Bye bye. Salty. <laughs> I'm gonna send a message and also cast uh, this because I do love that <laughs> I got the rage. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, she died. So just All attack. There it goes. Yep. Right. I'll block this one again. <laughs> Killing my own dinosaur in the process. Wow. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Strong Good victory. Game. For the pirates there, that was quite the race as well. Yeah. And I did notice one thing: there were a lot of sorceries cast that game, uh, like Walk the Plank. Yeah. But there are instances, however, in the universe, correct? Yes, definitely. And the game will pause along the way if it's an important decision for you to make. Right. Or you can always jump into full control and say, "Hey, right now I want to play it the way I want." Yeah. And let's talk more about full control. That was a really interesting part to see there, considering it was a really pivotal turn for Gabby right. to make sure that she was able to make every decision that she had to, had to. Well, with the depth of magic, we have to be able to give all of the strategies and tactics that any player Sim. could come Eu up with. And the only way to do that is to give them de genuine full control of the real rules of magic. Right? Right? We make it nice, we make it fun to play uh, through most of it, but you can always jump into the the and and one of the things, I mean, it's, I think it's important people know, like, we do have the legitimate rules of magic, but we've also got, right. like, we built these decks specifically to battle against each other for the purposes of this demo, right. but we're going to have all of the Ixalan cards. You're going to be able to build decks Correct. with all those Ixalan cards. So, right. right. uh, MTG Arena is about standard. Right. We want to represent all the cards in standard rotation, always keep up with the new cards that are built, always bring you those new worlds as it goes along, so that you can really be at the forefront of what's happening. Now, when you say new worlds, we were in some right, right. Match. Uh, are you saying there's going to be a new world? Or playing the battle on? Well, that's magic itself always brings you to a new world, or playing the battle on? Well, that's... Magic itself always brings you to a new place or maybe reintroduces you to a familiar one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep visualizing those probably about the pace of once a world to keep things fresh and to keep new things coming at you. Right, and the animations too, I noticed in this case they happen to be on rares and uh, mythic right, rares. Right. Is that going to be something that's going to be seen across all rarities or is it something you're reserving for more of that? Our real philosophy is what makes it exciting that's already exciting. Carnage Tyrant is this big bomb. Let's make sure everybody knows he's shown up. Right. But we're also going to add animations after a set's launched. Maybe there's that uncommon that all of a sudden jumps up in the meta. Right? We want to keep the game live and fresh so that people know what's exciting. When the players discover it, we want to make it even more exciting. I'm going to put an early vote in for Hostage Taker. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that, card, that card did work. It was very good. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Well, I think oh, okay. I want to hear mm -hmm. about Gabby and Amaz. I want to hear your yeah. thoughts on it as well. Yeah. 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 Do you guys have any questions or any, anything you want to ask? Yeah, let's do it. And then I said, maybe the really Nancomo like becomes strong in the meta. And so, for making sure that that card is done fine. It's an important card. Maybe we can add some more to the animation. Yes, it's definitely free to play. Yeah. We're not ready to talk all of the business details yet. We really want to make the moment to moment fun and make sure all the rules are authentic, okay. but free to play. And how is it going to tie into organized play? We don't know all of the answers there yet. We actually want the players help here because it's digital play. It's different, F right? Play? We've been in the sort of masters of organized play in person for 25 years. Now we're going for digital and we really need the community's help to figure out what that means. Right. But we are definitely headed there. And just kind of selfishly for me, and I'm sure all other people who are curious about it, uh, when can we start streaming this? Well, it, we would we would love to e have people do that, but this is pre-alpha. Penseranno and we need the come organizzare il gioco organizzato, quindi il torneo, così perché adesso noi siamo bravissimi a organizzarli nel mondo vero, però il mondo digitale è tutta un'altra cosa. It's a genuine saying, hey, come help us figure this out. Sure, I don't want to hog all the questions, so Maz, if you have any questions. <laughs> Well, first of all, I think uh, the client is really beautiful, and um, the cards doing the animations really brings them to life. So I really like that. Well, the team so has my done first a lot question, of work. Gotta say a thank you to them for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big thanks. Oh uh, yeah, them. for sure. So my first question is, um, you know, what formats will be supported on MTG Arena? Right. Well, w with the closed beta, we're going to have constructed, and we're also going to have a ranked ladder to climb. Then we're going to add draft and sealed, and then we're going to really see what else there is to add as we continue to go forward. Maybe even some digital-only formats. Ooh, awesome. that's, that's exciting. Oh. Who knows? It's a live and, game. We um, want to keep it exciting right. as well. And yeah, for my final question would be, um, so flying is very obvious to see in the right. battle. Ci saranno like draft e sealed. Uh, are there any ideas on the other viewers to make it uh, communicated to players more easily? Standard con i rank, tipo quelli di Hexproof. 
però ci saranno draft e seed per la closed beta e nella closed beta ci sono queste cose qua so that I don't make a mistake when I'm making a decision so that's one we're going to take and make a lot louder right make a lot more obvious but that interaction and that help of people playing just tons and tons of games is going to tell us what's important versus what's just pretty oh that's a that's really interesting to hear awesome and I love that, of course, we're taking player feedback as well, which, you know, if you hear an overwhelming amount of people saying, hey, this thing's not working, or I'm not getting this communicated correctly, we're able to fix that in the, uh, the beta, right? Well, the power of Magic the Gathering is the community, right? Okay, like, the beta, obviously, it aiuterà a capire ciò che è importante dal punto di vista del gioco e del giocatore, da quello che è bello, che è carino. All right, well, as we share with you this exclusive first look at the game, we want to remind you that we are still very early in the process, but we are moving straight to the closed beta. And uh, we really want you to be a part of that process. Yeah. Uh, make sure that you go to playmtgarena.com, that URL that we've had on the screen basically the entire time, to make sure that you sign up for the upcoming closed beta. And uh, if you don't want to wait to get your hands on things, we're actually going to be taking our show on the road starting this coming weekend at HasCon in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, we've also got chances to play upcoming at okay, Grand Prix Phoenix, Pro Tour Ixalan in Albuquerque, and Grand Prix Portland all later this year. So make sure you come by, uh, drop in, and do the demo. In America. And uh, like I said, we really want to involve the community from the beginning. So we're going to, to right, do that. literally <laughs> right now. Yeah. Let's we're going to take an opportunity to make sure that we get a little Q&A with the members of our Twitch community. So uh, let me start grabbing my little handy dandy. Question taker, finder thingy, right. majigger. If any of you have questions in Twitch chat, please don't just spam emotes. Do something constructive with your time. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, you can send us questions. We're going to field them as they're coming in as well. And uh, I guess I guess we'll just kick things off there. Do we have one? Uh, I've got a couple, actually. Yeah, let's, let's start off. Uh, I've got a question from uh, Bistro Maths, who has an awesome name. <laughs> uh, okay, the very so first question, this multi part question the is, the first game the of the chat of Twitch. Uh, Oh, you mean as far as is Magic the Gathering Arena the first yeah, game? Yeah, we mentioned several. that we, we mentioned earlier that this is the first of the new digital right. games from the Magic right. Digital Game Studio. Well, so. there's a company we've also talked about, Magic Digital Next, and the overarching sort of campaign to say, hey, there's a lot we can do with Magic digitally. So, yes, we're the first. I'm only working on this one. <laughs> we'll let other people talk about the future there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, interesting. And the uh, the implication also uh, in the question is it's you know so this isn't a replacement, right? No, definitely. This is a from scratch effort, right? Magic Online isn't going anywhere, right? It has almost all of the cards you can play. It has this deep okay, back list. It has cube. It has all of the formats. And there's lots of players who just love playing it. We want them to keep playing it. We want other players to find it too. But we wanted to update something that could be streamed, that could be shared, and that could go to a whole new audience of people. Right. Cool. Let's see. Uh, I have another question uh, from Cambridge with a couple underscores afterwards. I'm pretty sure you just like let it hang for a second before you move <laughs> into the question. Uh, so has a question about uh, what's the timing mechanism? Magic Online has said that it will remain there. Well, you're going to probably get tired of me saying we need community feedback, but we actually, <laughs> we actually really do in this case. So what we have right now is a time for the game for each side. And as you play and manage your time, if you happen to finish it below a threshold, we add more time. So that what that lets happen is the turns where you don't really need to make a complicated decision, you can save that time up for later when the board state is crazy and you need to really go into it. We are playing with it now. We've played tons of games with it, but we want the players out in the world to play with it too and tell us, does it really meet the authentic needs of what you're doing right. and of what a real match is about? So, again, lots of stuff that we're going to continue to figure yeah. out as time goes on. That's why we're having the community so involved in this process. But, we, right? but we, have it, we have it built to a place where we need that play, oh, and that's why we're bringing it out and showing it to folks. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh, this is a this is a nice softball for you. So, uh, but it's an important question. Uh, Salat G. This is this is going to be my favorite part of this whole like, thing is <laughs> pronouncing people's Twitch oh. names. So, uh, how does holding priority work? Uh, is this in the game or not yet implemented? And this comes back to our talk about full controller. Right. So full control mode. When you go through full control, you literally will click every time. I will get priority, priority. Right. Yep. To react to the steps, it will be. Every decision you could possibly make, you can make. And let me just be clear, in Magic, there's rules that many of us <laughs> didn't even know about. Like, you can play a card without having the mana for it and then unplay it, right? In full control mode, you'll be able to do everything, and we've spent a lot of time building those real rules of Magic. 
What we want you to do is focus on the times where it really matters to you, right? right? Rather than okay. just make it a click fest. In full and control again, mode, hanno like fatto proprio tutto, tutto quello che poi potresti fare veramente. You can take it in where basically it's just a single holding a priority for the next opportunity. Right. But then you can toggle it on so that it just stays on the entire time and it's like right. setting every single stop. Right. And following on to that, we have auto payment of mana, yep. right? Aspetta, we, we take a very, very educated guess at which mana you want to play. But if you want to play just traditionally, you can tap your mana, stay in complete control, and then play the card. Or you can drag the card out, see what mana is going to be tapped, and say, you know what, I want to do something different. All of those are multiple ways to give you control without throwing it in your face and making you go through the steps all the time. Uh, so I've got a couple of questions that I'm going to lump together because okay, they so tackle a fairly similar uh, question. Uh, so we have uh, HCM7 and uh, Cherino. Uh, 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 are asking basically, <laughs> can we are going to support older formats? Are cards going to rotate out? Kind of what's, what's our process for getting cards into and formats into a game? Well, right now we're focusing on standard as the newest cards and the best experience we can bring to life with the game. Okay. Right. Of course, so the standard is going to rotate, rotate right? There's going to be follow-ons that we do with that. We are committing right now to setting up standards, setting up the traditional modes that people really find fun, mm -hmm. like constructed and ranked and sealed, and then going and growing from there. We may go backwards, we may go far forwards, right? It's really about where this game finds its most fun. And that's what we need the players to tell us. Allora, inizialmente so, terranno uh, standard, il vero standard, uh, Lobo, one, two, two, three, con la rotazione, three, e poi da lì il draft e il sealed, e da lì um, uh, andranno avanti e cresceranno. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It actually matters a lot to folks, right? There's a lot of beautiful basic lands, right? Right, right. <laughs> Um, that is an important question, though, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I should be playing things up. It honestly matters a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, Crystal's got a good question also. Uh, how, do, how do players acquire their cards? Booster packs, player trading, that kind of stuff? Uh, uh, so, the game itself doesn't have trading in it. We're not necessarily ready to talk about all of the deep mechanics there, but of course there's boosters, right? Like yeah. Magic the Gathering, <laughs> boosters kind of invented it, kind of makes it the biggest thing there. So right, right. you're going to get it that way, but there's other ways too, and there's other ways within the game, okay, because the what Magic the Gathering Arena does is it doesn't just give you the match itself to play, it gives you an experience outside of that that keeps you engaged day to day, week to week, over time, different things happening. So watch out for more details on that as we go forward. Cool. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of, I mean, obviously, there's just so much stuff Right, about magic. Right. Okay, trading, there's altri modi di ottenere carte. Packs, Comunque, ha detto di dare un occhio e vedere. Really, it comes down to we're the players too. Like, mm -hmm. I have a sticker on my wall of my office that says we're the players who change the game, and that's double edged, right? We have to change it with respect and regard for the other players that are out there, but we also have to see it from a player's perspective. Mm -hmm. So that's really our guiding light, and of course, talking and playing with the players. When you're in the closed beta, if you see a Mythic Orange name, it's one of us, right? We're out there playing with folks, seeing what's really happening, what's really being experienced. Our accounts aren't comped, right? We play just like the players play. We earn like they earn because okay, that's the only way we can really say legitimately we know what the players are going to be able to do. That's a lot of sense. So uh, I'm going to lump another group of people together since the one I'm kind of seeing a lot. Uh, what are we looking to launch on as far as platform? Right now we're starting on PC, great place for us to start. Lots of the real estate, lots of the players who like to play this kind of game. But we've also, also built the game in Unity. And Unity itself is meant to be played lots of sì, places. Sì, and really, we want that PC. feedback. Again, you're gonna tired of me saying it, but really we do because where do you want to play it, in right? Unity. We already have this game that we've all worked on. Let's just have it show up wherever it makes the biggest difference to players. Right, so I got, ch chat's apparently, Got a lot of questions about full control, so oh, okay. we might want to dive just, you know, towards the beginning. We might have to do a whole thing that are just full control. Yeah, no, like, honestly, like, it's, it's funny because uh, we, we I, I remember talking to a couple of pro see. Magic players just about how they interact with our games. And yeah. uh, my, my favorite takeaway was talking to Reed Duke, who, uh, <laughs> who mentioned that he's the kind of player who plays Magic online with literally every stop in there like he's just sure, got like this sure. super well-developed ring finger from hitting f2 constantly <laughs> it's just like that, that's there are a lot of players like him who just want like they want to be able to do absolutely everything there, sure. are be, there are going to be players who like what they want is they want to they want to be able to play through you know 10 minutes i got 10 minutes to jam a game out and like the game can do all the heavy lifting for you and uh take care of that but 
there are a lot of players, especially the ones that have a really heavy bent towards the competitive side of things, who like they are the best magic player and they want to make sure that they have the absolute control over everything. Right. right. This full control mode, it it literally gives you that all of the stops, all of the ability to respond, everything, right? Well it might not shock you that there's some people on the dev team who don't want to give up control either, right? <laughs> like why trust the computer? It's your <laughs> reputation on the line, right? Yeah, so right. Ryan's pain. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right. And it's there, but I think there's important well, distinction to make. Full control really is about decisions, right? Yeah. about yeah. control, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have the right time and the right understanding and the right information to make the key decisions? Right, that click is just the execution of that decision. So that's really where we're building it from, and full control just makes sure that when you've made that decision, you can do exactly what you want it to do. Awesome. So uh, let's see, let me look through these right here. Uh, I know that we slightly touched on this earlier, so I just want to kind of reiterate for people, I've seen some people asking like, uh, if uh, their DCI number is going to be involved, or if, like, kind of what you know, how how the you know Pro Tour might interact with all this stuff. And you mentioned earlier, like we're we're going to be exploring a lot of that stuff in the future, right? Well, we we we're we're kind of a big deal when you talk about tabletop and game stores and all of the rest, right? So there's definitely lots and lots of options there. For example, if you play in a pre-release in tabletop, you're going to get a special benefit, right, for Magic: The Gathering Arena come up uh, in one of the future events. But there's more we can do in that space. What we want to do, though, is do things that actually matter to players and make a difference. And they say, you know, I've been playing the tabletop game, hey, I'm love, playing the digital love, game. Safe, How those two play together, we all have to experience together. We have to see what that world's going to be. Yeah. And we want to give you things that really matter and connect it in ways that really make it a difference to that community that's powering all that we do. Hmm. This is definitely a good time okay. to reiterate. Like, a lot of these things are going to be decided because we you know, right, work with you guys to figure this stuff out. And, and the best way to make sure that we're getting that feedback is to go demo. to playmtgarena.com, sign up for that closed beta, and then actually help us uh, you know, make some mistakes that are going to be right. Ultimately, we have to decide and make the game decisions as developers, yeah. Yeah. but we can't do that in isolation. That's what this really is about, right? This is about playing alongside mm -hmm. folks, experiencing what they experience, so that we're making decisions that are online. best for exactly. their play. And uh, I guess this also gets to kind of another question that I've seen some. Uh, King Coolio asked, uh, <laughs> are things like the tap indicator that we saw in the demo set in stone, or are some of these things subject to change? Well, it's interesting. So if you looked at tap, and it's like not all the way 90 degrees, and it's got the tap symbol, we've done like a dozen different iterations of that. And this wow. is the one that we at first went to the 90 degree and we said, well, of course, that's how a tabletop does it. When we played it, it felt really weird. And so we tried about some other things. This is where we are now. Really, a lot of this is all of, everybody knows the game and understands it. What they want is the best expression of it, the thing that plays the best for them. So again, the feedback matters there, right? Yep. What, what is, well, I guess what is final is the cards are there, the so card designers have made them and we're playing with them and making a great experience out of it. And Don't no yeah, si è capito questa che è questa idea è quello che succede con Pokémon e Pokémon tu se giochi online e giochi cartaceo cioè se giochi cartaceo hai la stessa cosa che hai nel cartaceo ce l'hai anche online perché ti danno sempre il codice se hai dei prodotti che te lo boostano secondo me danno dei bonus o delle carte particolari esatto sblocchi certe cose Dorsi delle carte pensando a Airstone. That was actually one of the very first things I tried, by the way, as soon as I got to play it, is move my cards around. So that's, it feels very authentic in that sense. I do love the, uh, like, I've been playing Magic for way too long, a really long time. <laughs> Basically since it's never too long. It's never too long, that's a good point. Um, but like the old tap symbol, like is right. exact, like it always reminds you because that's how I used to tap my permanence. It's right. like you know you don't have to tap all the way to the side. It like told you like you know rotate it slightly. I'm like that's, what, that's exactly <laughs> like going back in time for me. Uh, so I do have uh, another question that gets kind of towards the uh, you know free to play nature of the sure, game. Sure. Uh, McBurtz asks uh, if players will be able to earn cards without paying money for boosters. Yes, definitely. Okay. And in fact, there'll be a variety of things. The booster is the big moment, right? That's where you get to go hey, what it, where, where's my pack of goodness, right? Okay. But we definitely want to not only onboard si you, bring you into the game and give you some cards to start off with so that you have something to play soldi. with, but we want to keep it rewarding you in interesting ways as the meta evolves and as the card designers keep making great cards. 
And guys, uh, I'm just letting you know also, uh, we, you're going to have plenty of opportunities to reach out to us to uh, add more questions. So if we don't get any e questions, saranno tutte ricompense che man mano potrebbero cambiare sia il modo per ottenerle sia le ricompense stesse in base a come si evolve il meta. Quindi magari danno, che ne so, settimane di rinnovo che si giocano, cose del genere. After, after I get through Hascon this weekend, so, uh, <laughs> but um, we do have uh, a reiterate this because this is very important. Uh, this will be make this the, the last question that we get to today. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I get into this game? Asks Major underscore <laughs> Warzone. <laughs> well, we, we'll keep, we keep saying playmtgarena.com, right? Yes. That's how you get sign up for the closed beta. What we want to do is get everybody in, in as fast as we can, but only when the game's ready for it, too. Yeah. Part of this is developing the game, feeding experience, then inviting new people and getting their first experience, right? There's only ever one chance to get that first impression, and we need to do that enough times to really make sure this rocks. And that's what we're going to be using those closed beta players to help us with through the end of the year. All right, and one last thing, uh, platforms again, for people who are looking to uh, get into that closed beta, uh, how are we do we're, we're PC beta? now for the beta and for where we're going for it, and then built on Unity so we can go lots of other places. Awesome. Very, very cool. All right, well, everyone, that was it. Thank you so much for the Thank excellent you, yes. questions, Switch Q&A. And that was our very first glimpse of Magic the Gathering Arena. As we have already pointed out, Finita. this is still very early in the process, and the game, I believe, is just getting better and better and growing based on everything I've heard here today. And uh, we are, like I said, we're going to have plenty of other opportunities to show yes. you our work as we get closer to that closed beta. And you're going to find lots of opportunities to see my smiling face on the inside of the camera, on the other side of the Twitter account. Many chances we can to uh, engage you guys in the conversations like this. Uh, molto migliorando yeah. fino alla release finale. Well, Planeswalkers, it has been a blast. For Chris K.O., Gabby Sparts, Amaz, and Nate here, I am Jimmy Wong saying thank you so much for being a part of today. Definitely. Yeah, really, thanks a lot. It means a lot to have you all being here and being part of bringing Magic the Gathering Arena to life. Uh, I know myself and the team are just so excited to be able to finally share it, not have to keep it secret anymore. So we want to close today with a little video we made to show us what kind of players we are. Thank you. We have been working on something for a long time, years actually, We haven't been able no, to non ho detto la beta quando inizia. Today is the day we get a talk about Magic the Gathering Arena. MTG Arena is our chance to deliver an authentic digital magic experience, but with the excitement and the fun factor that you've come to expect from the modern video game. You know, the people I used to play tabletop with, they're all around the globe now, and I'm looking to bring an experience where I can get together with those people and recreate some of those moments. What we're really after here is something that's like your tabletop experience, where you can just hang out, just have fun, see the flow of the game, understand what's going on, and grow in your own mastery. This is magic. This is real. This is authentic. This is your game. You get this moment. It is my favorite part of making games, when somebody hits that moment of delight and their face just lights up. One of my favorite things about Magic Gathering Arena is now when your creature attacks, you get, you get, it just smashes your opponent in the face. I love that. <laughs> I've always been a fan of the game. I've always loved it. And I want to bring that to other people who also love the worlds, love the characters, love the idea of a card game that Magic the Gathering invented and brought to the world. Remind them who started it all and who's keeping it going. Beh, per i formati modalità hanno detto che ci saranno, aiuteranno con T2, Draft e Seed. Già il fatto che ci siano Draft e Seed secondo me ne vale veramente la pena. To create what we do for the digital game, we said what's going to be important to the players. Mm -hmm. Immediately, the answers came back: real rules that are authentic, that's fun to watch, fun to play, but where you also have the control you need at any given moment to get your strategy across. We know that to get this game right, we need to build it in full transparency. Oh, yeah, exactly. Get your hands on it and let us know your thoughts. Just all your help, we can turn it into something truly amazing. This game is being made by Magic fans like me. For Magic fans, e quel like tizio lì è il capo progetto progetto project designer, il capo designer di Magic. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Maro. Esatto. Eh, allora sì, Commander sarebbe molto bello, però ci sta
Ci si raccomanda all'interno di un prodotto del genere forse è un po' complicato. Ciao Pablo e... Eh. Scusa. Maro è, è fantastico. Maro si sì, ha più entusiasmo che c'è lui in corpo. Sì, è, è tipo... <ride> è la, è, è, la è uscita la nuova edizione. È uscita. Adesso possiamo... Esatto. Togliamo l'audio. Aiuto. Eh sì, e noi a mia... cioè personalmente io amo Maro perché oltre al fatto che si capisce sempre quando parla perché ha una pronuncia curiosa che mi permette di capirlo costantemente. Sì, sì, è, è una persona cioè ti fa davvero apprezzare il prodotto che esce perché con l'entusiasmo che ci mette a raccontarti si capisce l'amore che prova per quello che sì, fa sì. e quindi ovvio anche perché è lì dall'inizio è proprio qualunque rosvuota è rimasto... sia la persona che cioè se gli devi, devi far presentare una cosa che magari è ehm, un me perché non sono sicuri, lo danno in mano a lui, lui te ne parla e sembra esatto. la cosa più bella del mondo. Eh, sì, cioè, se lo portiamo in Italia, cioè, io sarò lì tipo stesa sul pavimento sì, sì, a regolarlo. Una tipo... raccolta firma. Una cosa così. Ehm... Per la questione con Mandre sarebbe carino, però c'è tutta una questione di struttura. La che serve, mi sono preso qualcosa di me, se volete capire X. Eh, C'era, allora, si è visto fino a Kaladesh. Perché nel filmato finale si è visto l'idra pelosa. Eh, pelosa, quella che prende antimalocchio con le energie, il, um, il fulmine imbrigliato, eccetera. Quindi sì, probabilmente... Cioè, ciao Francesco, tra l'altro. Eh, sì, sarà um, eh, probabilmente il T2 eh, post-rotazione, perché dipende da quando... Hanno detto qualche data? No, non hanno no, detta. date no. Però considerato che hanno giocato in un alfa, c'è l'iscrizione alla beta, l'alfa mi sembrava abbastanza avanzata, quindi può essere che forse a fine anno la beta. Io sto guardando la beta. il Twitter di Magic MTG Arena. L'unico link... Hanno creato adesso sì. l'account MTG Arena proprio. Sì, ci sono già 962 follower, tipo... Eh, sì, cioè, eh, sì, sogniamo che si possa già iscrivere. Eh, dipende da quando, insomma, dipende da loro. Tu ti sei iscritta alla fine sì. qua? Qui? Sì. Ah, ok, scusa. Facciamo anche con la, la mail della pagina. E con quale si è? Eh, con nessuna. <ride> Tanto vale provarci. Beh, torna un attimo indietro, possiamo fare un attimo. L'iscrizione sarà poi effettivo o numero chiuso? Eh beh, se è closed beta, eh, sicuramente numero chiuso. Decidono poi loro, non sappiamo che numero... Everything you need to know about ecco. Magic the Gathering Arena. È, è uscito l'articolo. 25 anni fa Richard Garfield ha creato il gioco cioè iniziamo un po' di... sì, la prendiamo alla la un po' come dire come la Marvel dice dobbiamo sistemare il casino che abbiamo fatto nel 10.000 avanti Cristo cosa? è stato annunciato che cos'è Magic Digital Next Digital Game Studios Ah, nell'iscrizione dice nelle prossime settimane controlla la mail e comunicheremo qualcosa. Sì, però magari ti dicono puoi essere nella beta, però non ti dicono quando effettivamente inizierà. Allora, scrollo velocemente per capire. Se Sarà una delle ultime cose. How to get involved. Ok, vai, vai, ta, vai. Ta. Ta. Perché non vedo una data. It's mean for tablet. Va bene. Thank you. No, no. non c'è una data ufficiale. L'iscrizione quindi sì sarà a numero chiuso, ma non si sa ancora quanto numero chiuso, sicuramente eh, sarà un numero penso particolarmente grande perché volendo, cioè nel senso grande nell'ordine mm -hmm. ce delle centinaia, perché vogliono ovviamente sentire sì, il più possibile ehm, le opinioni, sì. però forse lo affideranno fuori dalla questa closed data anche a pro player ma gli diranno tu ci dai esatto entrare. ti diamo un codice tu ci entri e basta più che entrare nella beta spammate tu mm -hmm. e noi speriamo di riuscirci perché se ci riusciamo streamiamo come dei dannati 
tutto il possibile 24 ore venite a vederci adesso no, mi magari... porto già avanti mi esatto, porto già avanti, sì. porto già avanti. Eh, quindi sì nel senso l'idea è che essendo in alfa però un alfa che secondo me tra un po' è beta si sì, era molto eh... avanzata ci, ci sono dei, dei giochi su Steam in alfa che tra un po' hanno solo gli omini poligonali che si muovono così quindi ci si muoverà ne, di conseguenza penso che effettivamente tra un mesetto potrebbero già aprire la, la beta mm. eh, sarà una close di un certo livello nel senso che secondo me sarà abbastanza ampia perché molto, hanno detto che vogliono sentire tante opinioni possibile, ovviamente togliendo come abbiamo già detto coloro che verranno scelti ma proprio tipo ah tu sei un pro player tu ci giochi gli altri e loro non credo rientri, non rientrano in quello sicuramente no <ride> Eh, comunque verranno scelte secondo me un buon numero di persone anche perché eh, se vogliono sentire il più possibile cosa la pensa la community mm-hmm. è ovvio che non puoi coinvolgere 100 persone ma mille ma anche di più, di più. <ride> e sicuramente eh, cercheranno di cap- selezionare campioni da più parte del mondo se sono e, più, e secondo me quella domanda del codice di... hanno per caso menzionato multilingua? no non hanno detto niente forse anche di, di età diverse sì secondo me e età livelli. diverse e il fatto che tu abbia un numero di CI o no quindi se sei un giocatore o non sei un giocatore ma poi di spoiler nuovi l'incantesimo, il veicolo e basta no ha qualche certo. creatura qualche dinosauro qualche un peschino dei pirati e un um... E una, che la creatura che fa costare uno in meno i dinosauri e tappa da rapidità i dinosauri. Secondo me, non, in realtà, l'inserimento di CI proprio vogliono evitare di dare priorità solo ai giocatori che fanno tanti eventi. Mm-hmm. Cioè, scegliere magari anche. Eh, anche gente che non sì, ha il DCI. Che non ha DCI, e gente quindi... che magari gioca da poco, gente esatto. che gioca solo. Eh, che ha magari il DCI, ma fa pochi eventi, tipo solo pre-release, quindi è un casual mm-hmm. player. Per creare dei, cioè come praticamente come quando si fa fare la statistica che si sceglie esatto. un campione di studio, scelgono comunque un, un, cercano eh, di fare un campione vario. Un campione variegato, quindi lo, da giocatori pro a giocatori che giocano molto, eh, fino ad andare a scalando a giocatori che hanno appena cominciato oppure che non hanno neanche la DCI, quindi mm-hmm. non gli interessa car- avere più punti e quindi incrociamo le dita perché comunque. C'è tanta possibilità, sicuramente ci saranno anche ehm, campioni legati a provenienza sì. per non avere tutti gli americani o comunque ci saranno anche dei campioni, so- mm. cioè magari sceglieranno non tutti gli americani ma anche degli europei perché ovviamente devono vedere cioè. anche dall'altra parte dell'oceano come la pensano. Quindi incrociamo le dita perché è un secondo me se la possono giocare particolarmente bene anche rimanendo solo sui tre formati che hanno già proposto. Eh sì. sì, comunque c'erano delle, degli spoiler, infatti che adesso, adesso li mettiamo fare. subito. Quindi vi salutiamo anche perché comunque più di quello che abbiamo già detto esatto, non, non c'è... abbiamo informazioni e vi aggiorniamo anche su questa sì, cosa sì magari esatto condividiamo l'articolo se c'è già in italiano altrimenti vediamo di tradurlo e, ma direi di dare priorità agli spoiler visto che siamo comunque in stagione di spoiler anche e... perché è un articolo tipo è abbastanza lungo lungo ma con alcune informazioni sì. ma niente di su- super sì diciamo sicurento. anche tutte le la, come, come si dice il ragionamento esatto per arrivare al gioco quindi vi salutiamo, vi ringraziamo come al solito per farci compagnia e per aver seguito per la prima que- parte un po problematica. questa cosa. C'è già in, ah, c'è già in italiano perfetto. nell'articolo, perfetto, quindi condivideremo quello. E, e, e noi vi vediamo sal- in inglese. Sì, perché è la prima cosa. Quindi ci vediamo alla prossima, che sarà in teoria martedì, come al solito. E, no. Grazie ancora, siamo qualcosa di bello sembra quindi yeah. speriamo che vada tutto bene oh. ecco diciamo così quindi ciao a tutti buonanotte io mi sono trovato